What is going on everybody? Tis Rockstar Paul with the next installment of NASCAR E3 Career Mode. And for today's race we are going road course racing. This is what I've been looking forward to. This is what I've been waiting for. The chance to show off the road course skills around Watkins Glen in New York. So without any further ado, let's hop in. Let's check out the reputation. So, because uh, Christopher Bell has the inability to drive anywhere but into the side of me, and because Jeremy Clements also has the same thing, they are now rivals, along with uh, Spencer Gallagher, who also uh, has an inability to avoid driving into me. Uh, still got uh, a few friends as well, but now the rivals are starting to pile up this, uh, this close to the playoffs. So we got to do something about that, otherwise we're going to be in a lot, a lot of trouble. Too much trouble to uh, to comprehend. Let's take a look at your Xfinity season standings, and we twelve victories under the belt. We are top, followed by Cole Custer with two wins, and then Christopher Bell, Justin Allgaier, Tyler Reddick, who haven't won yet, Elliot Sadler who has a victory, Ryan Priest who hasn't won yet, uh, Brandon Jones who has a victory. Daniel Hemrick hasn't won yet, but he's now firmly in. Matt Tift uh, has a victory uh, as well. And then so does Ross Chastain. Jonathan Zdibacek is on the bubble, but let's see where Ryan Truex is. Still 15th place, which automatically qualifies him to go into the playoffs. Daniel Hemrick, the car on the bubble. Still without a victory, Sindrick Harvick. Ty Dillon, Reed. A lot of big names that still haven't uh, won yet, which uh, I find very surprising. So then, the first of three road courses at Watkins Glen. This uh, this is going to be different for you folks. You know, you've all watched me on ovals, now you get to watch me on a road course. We did one road course race in the truck series uh, around Canadian Tyre, but now we're going to do three in four races. This is the first, followed by Mid-Ohio, and then Bristol breaks up Road America. So without further ado, let's hop into it, and let's get this race off and underway. Alrighty then folks, we're on off P7. Justin Allgaier looks a bit slow. Alex Abay to the back after a place in the transmission. And there we are, so P7. Not uh, not a bad qualifying. I think uh, we left a bit of time out there on the table. Certainly uh, going into the first corner as you get ready to go road course racing. Green in the air, let's go racing at Watkins Glen. And we're already gonna shove Austin Sindrick to the inside. We might go four wide into the corner as he makes a few bit of contact with uh, Brandon Jones. Christopher Bell uh, wanted to get some retribution already. He's three wide with Cole Custer. Christopher Bell gets excuse you, bro. I'm gonna dump your shit if you're not careful, Christopher Bell. Dear me, right. So, road course racing. A lot different from oval racing, folks. Uh, you'll see uh, see that a lot as we come into the bus stop for the first time up to the back of Brandon Jones out to the bus stop into the carousel and then once we get through the carousel it'll be into the uh, into the chute we get a lot a lot of traction around the outside of the carousel for some reason we come up to the back of Ross Chastain past him for P5 thank you very much there Rossy boy into the chute into the penultimate corner turn 10 Austin Sindrick in fourth place, Ryan Priest in front of him. I don't know who's uh, leading him to the back of uh, Austin Sindrick through turn 11. Now down to the line. One thing I will say about uh, road course racing on NASCAR, if you're going to do this, turn the cautions to relaxed yellows. As we go in the inside of Sindrick, oh, and he gives us a tap, sends us a bit wide. Oh, we're out of control, but we, oh, a bit of a tap on the barrier. And then Chastain gives us a punt in the barrier. Thanks, Ross. Um, as I was saying, yes. Turn it to relaxed yellows. 
if you have the strict yellows on, which uh, I normally do at the ovals, then you're going to be, you're not going to get past the first corner. Because they will just go bang, 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 bang into you. And it is on. So relaxed yellows for the road courses, strict yellows for the ovals. Although I'm not going to... Not sure what we're going to do when we get to the Charlotte Grove. I think we might go relax yellows around there. But we're back in the P6, getting a hell of a run uh, out the carousel of the Ross Chastain down the chute to turn 10. And thank you very much, we're back in the P5. Run a little wide through turn 10, that's fine, there's no uh, sort of out of bounds uh, in NASCAR on road courses. Unless you're uh, seen to gain an advantage, which, well, quite quite clearly we didn't gain an advantage there. Two to go on the line. Into turn number one. One danger about turn number one is if you get in there too hot, you will wheel hop. And what they mean by wheel hop is your, the front of the car will basically go up and down. So you won't have the, uh, the brake traction um, going into the first corner through the S's. And that almost looks like a street course going uh, through the second part of the S's. Turn, uh, between turn 3 and 4, now up to turns 5, 6, 7 and 8, the bus stop. You want to carry momentum through the first part so you've got uh, a lovely run out of the uh, other side so we go into the carousel, turn 10, bit wide in the carousel. But uh, luckily we hold, uh, hold on and uh, off we go, down the chute after Ryan Priest lost his syndrome. Into turn ten. See if we can get a oh hit the curb on the inside. That was a that was a nasty one. You don't be hitting the curb too much. We come up to the back of Cindric again. Cindric is getting us all kinds of uh, loose here. As we head down to the line, one to go at the line. To presented by Credit One Bank. And now into turn one. Bit of uh, bit of grass on the inside, but that's fine. Up to the S's, turn two. It's all uphill here. I remember, uh, we go up turn two, through turn. Oh, between Syndric and Priest, what a move in the S's! What a move indeed! And next up, oh, it's a RCR 123 look. Daniel Hebrick and Matt Tift are in front of me, teammates. And uh, if I was Daniel Hebrick, I'd actually want to win this race because uh, win and you're in the playoffs. If you don't win, you're in danger. And he is the bubble guy, as we say. It's only going to take a victory for one of the guys behind him, and he is out of the playoffs. But he looks like he's going to do his uh, playoff chances no harm. He's going to win stage number one ahead of Matt Tift. We're going to finish uh, third in this stage, which uh, I don't think is uh, too bad at all, considering we were uh, P6, no, P7, sorry. And we had a couple of people put us in the wall. So, end of the first stage. Just like that. Okie dokie. Right, everyone's pitting. I think if we're pitting, we're only pitting for a minimal amount of fuel and uh, we're pitting for tyres. Yeah. Half can tyres and tightening the car up a little smidge, that's all. And we dropped a P6. Green back in the air, let's go race at stage number two. Now, we're on the inside here as we go with the inside of Ross. Oh, Jeremy Clements with a punt! Oh, is that how we're going to play it? Right, fine, it's on. It's on now, bitch. Oh, a bit wide in the S's. Hopefully we can carry some momentum though on uh, Ryan Priest. Try and get uh, past him. We're past Ryan Priest, thank you very much. Next up is Sindrick and then, oh, Tiff's got past Hemrick. As we come, look at the break-in we get into the bus stop on Austin Syndrome. If we get the, the momentum, we'll go around the outside of the carousel. And we do have the momentum. Thank you very much. Around the outside of the carousel. 
and we're up into P3 and run a little wide as well just for good measure. We've got a hell of a run on Hemrick as well. Transfer us into P2 past uh, Daniel Hemrick. Thank you very much. Oh, a bit of grass kicked up by Matt Tiff in front of us in the lead. We'll come round uh, turn number 11. Come into the line. Gonna be, what, three to go? Three to go. Matt Tift leads this race from myself and Daniel Hemrick. It's a Richard Childress Racing 1 2 3. We're waiting for a Richard Childress Racing 1 2 3. And uh, finally, it looks like we're going to get it as we get a hell of a momentum run through the S's. I remember NASCAR Heat 2 when I did the hot seat. Uh, up the inside of uh, Matt Tift. I'll get onto that uh, in a second. We're bait the lead. Perfectly textbook pass on uh, Matt Tift for the lead of this race. As I was saying, uh, for those who haven't uh, seen my NASCAR Heat 2 career race around Watkins Glen, because uh, Watkins Glen was one of the hot seats, uh, they gave me Ryan Blaney's ride. And about two, three laps from the end I was fighting Martin Truex Jr. for the race victory um, and we come up to the S's I just clipped the grass a little very very tiny amount it sent the car 90 degrees and the car came back in the right way and we saved it and went on to win the race because uh, Truex made a late uh, late late pit stop which was, um, which was awfully nice of him as we head up turn number four, down the back straight to the bus stop, turns five, six, seven, and eight. It's called a bus stop because uh, it actually does look like the bus stop, a bus stop. Oh, a bit of inside curb, oh, that's in the wall. That's in the wall. Hey, we made our first F up on the road course, Matt Tift. Back into the lead, here comes Daniel Hemrick. See if we can keep second place from uh, second place from Daniel Hemrick. In fact, that's the end of the stage. So somebody's obviously uh, had a bit of an issue. Right then, there's going to be ten laps to go at the uh, the end of this. So not everyone's going to make it. Surprising we don't have any damage on our car, which uh, I'm a bit surprised about. But uh, let's get this on then. Last stage of the race coming up. Side by side with Matt Tiff, Daniel Hemrick in third place. Going to go green. Green in the air for stage number three. Ten laps to go. It's not impossible to save the fuel, but I'd rather not be saving the fuel as we go up the inside of Matt Tift. Free wide with Tift and Cindric. Cindric puts us around. Oh, oh, and then here comes Clements. It's going to be an absolute wreck. Oh, and he's took Hemrick out as well. Jeremy Clements, you utter, utter womble. And then Michael Annette puts us the right way around. Thanks, Michael. Right. Half a can of fuel, repair the damage, get four freshies on this. We're in 39th place, let's see where we can finish. If anywhere. And anywhere is not likely. Garrett Smiley is uh, six laps down. Did he not take the start of the race then? Look at that, bro. Whoa! Not the inside of Tommy Joe, we're already in what P28. 10 positions. That's the uh, accordion effect in the first corner. You'll see another one uh, in the second as we try to go around uh, the inside of Josh Blicky. We'll go around the outside instead. Thank you. Now Ty Majeski in the Roush Fenway, number 60. Who's that from? Chad Fincham. My man Chad! Free wide with uh, Majeski and Fincham. And we got uh, Spencer Boyd as well. Now up to the back of Michael and Ned. Ooh, somebody kicked up some grass there. It might be Tyler Reddick. Is that Tyler? That is Tyler Reddick. Excuse me, Rick Tyler coming through. 
There's Truex in the in a green 11. I haven't seen that before. Whoa! Almost ah, Spencer Gallagher. How you doing, Spencer? As we uh, see Kevin Harvick, who's not uh, too shabby on a road course, especially if his name's Sonoma, will uh, bunk it up the inside of Turn 11. Oh, and up the inside of uh, jo John Antonibacek as well. Why not? Get you some. Thank you very much. Goodbye. So, six to go. We're in P17. We made 21 positions. We go right up to close to the back of Brandon Jones. Hope that didn't do any damage. And now around the outside of Brandon Jones. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now around the outside of a teammate, Ty Dillon. Up the inside of turn number four. That's a drag race that he's not going to win. Thank you very much. The field's uh, spread out a little bit now. As we come up to the back of Jeremy. I should dump Jeremy Clements right now, shouldn't I? It wouldn't do me any favours, but I should dump his shit. But uh, just passing him round the outside of the carousel will be uh, good enough uh, for me. Uh, there's, there's the uh, thing right there, Jeremy. Kaz Grella, now Justin Olguy, who's recovered well. Justin Olguy is uh, in P12. We go around the outside of Turn 10 of Christopher Bell. Somebody kicked up some dirt there. I think it was Joey Gase. Joey Gase in the top 10. Go get you some, Joey. He's, uh, he's pretty good on the road course, is, uh, is young Joey. Ooh. We've got a problem with the radiator. Didn't see uh, that. Water temperatures are going to spike then, probably. That might stop us winning this race as we run a little wide in turn number one. Almost uh, hit the wall as well. But we just wanted uh, that speed momentum up through the S's so we can get up to the back of our teammate Daniel Hemrick, who should be in the lead of this race, folks. Daniel Hemrick was screwed over by Jeremy Clements and Jeremy Clements' false obsession. Because Jeremy Clements can't drive a car to save shit. As we, ooh, Ryan Sieg uh, in the top ten. Well, that's uh, not surprising because Ryan Sieg is a good road course racer. We've got up the inside of Ryan Priest. Now up the inside of Ryan Sieg. And it's unfortunate that uh, Sadler's first name's Elliot. Because <laughs> we'd, uh, we'd have been up the inside of him too. In fact, we might be up the inside of him in uh, turn number 10. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Next is Cole Custer. Ross Chastain in front of him. Who's leading this race? Who haven't seen yet? I haven't seen Sindrick. And I haven't seen Matt Tift yet. As we go into turn number one. Still P6 behind Cole Custer. I'd rather be top three right about now. I'd take a top three. Cole Custer's actually got our uh, fifth place here. As we go uh, catch up, try to catch up to him in the bus stop. If we don't give him the bus stop, oh, we'll give him a little love tap on the rear bumper. Don't give him the bus stop, we'll get him in the. Uh, oh, the car slides a bit loose, so that won't mean we'll give him the carousel. Might get him out the carousel. Because we do get a hell of a momentum run out the carousel down to turn 10. But here is that momentum run, thank you very much. Past the Stuart Haas, uh, number double zero. Ryan Reed's in the top 10. Where did he come from? He's come out of nowhere. Speaking of uh, out of nowhere, Ross Chastain. So that must mean uh, Sindrick and Tift are battling for the lead. I hope Tift's in the lead because uh, if he's not, Sindrick hasn't won yet. But he's on the outside looking in. So, if Austin Cedric wins this race, he could be uh, heading for the playoffs. So we go through the S's, uh, coming up pretty quickly to Ross Chastain. I reckon this move should be done before the S's. The uh, bus stop, in fact, is going to be. Look at the speed differential we carry into the bus stop. Thank you very much. Next up is Ryan Reed. If we get a hell of a run through the uh, through the carousel, it's Matt Tift in second place. So Austin Sindrick leads this race. 
Hopefully, though, he's not too far behind Sindrick. The rate we catch these cars, we can still win this race. Jeremy Clements tried to screw us over, but uh, we weren't having it as we come out of turn number 11. Down to the line. Here we have three to go, two to go. One of the two, it's going to be two to go. And there's the dive bomb on Ryan Reed. But we run wide, somebody else run, ran wide as well with the wall. And Ryan Reed takes back P3, but I don't think it'll be for long because we got a hell of a run through the S's. And thank you very much. That'll be us into P3. Now we've got four seconds. <coughs> Four seconds to catch Sindrick. And the gap is coming down with every breaking zone. Oh, but he's run wide. Oh, just uh, saved it. See if we can gain uh, a bit more time through the carousel. Yes, we can. Look at that. We've already chucked about 1.2, 1.3 off the lead already. If we can keep doing that, oh, I tell you what, we're going to be in for a last lap uh, shootout. Tifton, uh, oh, go on, Tift's going down the inside of Sindrick. Go on, Matt. Do it for Daniel. One to go at the line. Who's going to win this race? Sindrick keeps the lead in the uh, Team Penske 22. We run uh, just a little bit wider, uh, two seconds. That might be a bit too much in fact. Oh, on the grass, that, that's the end of that. Oh, into the barrier hard. Uh, it's gonna be P3. Might be P4. Wait, read. I will dump your shit. Everyone could make it on fuel as well. That uh, that was surprising. If we just stay with Reed, we might get him uh, out of the carousel. Get him down into uh, into turn ten. Yeah, we got him. But uh, yeah, we got plenty. Radiator is looking a bit more. It looks like to be Austin Sindrick that wins this race and uh, books his place into the playoffs. So the uh, <laughs> Richard Childress are looking uh, pretty sparse as far as uh, people, but we'll take a top five. P3. It should have been the victory. It should have been the victory. Jeremy Clements. That's all you got to say. Jeremy freaking Clements. was that pass a third where we split Cedric and Priest. <whistles> that was a sexy pass, was it? Was that not the sexiest pass you've ever seen? Just... Ooh. There's where we took uh, that. Daniel Hembrick won stage one. Me and Jeremy Clements. Because Jeremy Clements is a twat. There he goes, right up my rear bumper. I should have dumped his shit right there. There's the pass for the lead on Matt Tift. What a pass into the bus stop. We even kicked up a bit of dirt doing it. Tyler Reddick and Brandon Jones got into it. Oh! Ah, what was Tyler Reddick doing? <laughs> what the hell was Tyler Reddick doing? Oh, I think Jeremy Clements got his from Brandon Jones. Uh, Matt Tift wins stage number two. What was Tyler Reddick doing? Oh, he's where we made contact with Hemrick. That, that's not my fault, Daniel. Look at Jeremy Clements there, mate. Uh, we'll kick his ass for that. Uh, can't believe that, man. I can't believe that. I should dump his shit once and for all. Contact with Brandon Jones. No harm, no foul there. 
we take the checkered flag to finish P3 at Watkins Glen. Gotta do better at uh, Mid Ohio, I think. Gotta do better. Although Mid Ohio, in theory, is actually my weakest of the three road courses. I say weakest because I haven't done the Charlotte Roval yet. And I know that uh, that could be all over the place. Another 100,000. Uh, Thank you very much. Nearly 6 million in the bank. <sighs> we should have won though. We were the fastest car out there. On the minute, uh, yeah. No, no, it's no totally fair. More than 10.9. Cindric led the most laps. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, Austin. Vinnie Miller, car on the move, 39th to 26th. Tough luck, Garrett Smiley, starting 9th to finish 40th. Let's go to the shop. Uh. Oh well. Got a top five. Ross Chastain, careful. When you're running to me like that, it makes me think you don't like me. Well, I do, Ross. And I don't remember running into you. Jeremy Clement, so Ian Paul wants to play with Yeah, fuck you, Jeremy. Austin Sindrick after that. Uh, shut up, Sindrick. No patience for anyone like that today. Right. Uh, dirt Tour and uh, Camping World Truck Series then on to Mid-Ohio. So we're going to go get that uh, done and dusted. Uh, so uh, until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed that first road course at Watkins Glen. Leave a like if you did. It does help me out a lot. Uh, if you are new around here, you can subscribe for a week daily. Uh, F1 2018 and NASCAR Heat 3 career mode footage, as well as uh, other live streams. And until next time when we race around mid-Ohio, we shall see you in the next video. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching.